Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Adam Phillips and I'm talking about Toon Boom Anime 2. Right, back to normalness. Um, I'm going to open it up. This time we're going to talk about uh, the tools. We've already had a look at uh, exploring just the interface um, panels and timeline and things like that. So now we'll get into a bit more depth. So I'll open the same file. Um, I'm going to select all of these. Close. I'm going to select all of these layers, shift click and press the minus button and OK and that's all gone. Uh, a brief mention of the colour. Um, by default when you start a, a new animate file you'll get this big uh, colour palette. It's just packed with colours and it's good but I'm not too keen on it. I like to start with a fresh palette uh, and mix my own colours as I go. So if you click this button here, and you might find that this is already open when you start using Animate. Um, but uh, this file, this default palette is in my exploring palette, is in my exploring file, so it's called exploring. Uh, I'm going to create a new palette which with, with this uh, plus button, and I'll just call it new. And there I've got a brand new palette. If I close that now, I've got a palette with just one color in it called default. And I can call that whatever I want. I can add new colors and give them whatever colors I like. And and then, you know, you can do a, an entire movie in crude primary colors and then you can go back later and, and tweak. I mean, I wouldn't work that way, but you could if you wanted to. Um, you can tweak the colors and it updates throughout the entire project. It's one of the amazing things about this software. Uh, so that's how to create a new palette and that's what I'll be doing um, for, for my stuff in this uh, series. Right, so um, and of course you can rename them. Oh, if I go back into here, um, every time I open up this particular file, exploring the default palette will be at the top with all these um, this big thing, this big uh, pile of cluttered colors. I can move this down in the list to the bottom so I'll just press the down button. Um, alternatively I could uh, just click the new one that I wanted and click the up button. You can shuffle the order of your palettes. So now when the file opens I'll have this this custom palette um, in by default. Right, so where are we going now? We're going to look at the tools. I'm going to talk about each one in turn and you're probably familiar with um, a lot of the tools so especially if you're coming from Flash so um, I'm not going to go into great depth I'll just cover the ones that are most commonly used and uh, and where they are where to find them uh, right so first of all select tool uh, this of course allows you to select stuff and it's I've got mine in lasso mode and a lasso is uh, is the more versatile way of um, selecting in my opinion but if you prefer the the rectangular marquee you can hold down alt to to draw rectangular or you can go into edit preferences and um, oh, it's uh, somewhere there you go select tool as lasso you can unclick that you can uncheck that and it uh, goes into um, marquee mode and then holding down alt will go into lasso for you but yeah, there you go, that's that. Um, next, cutter. So if I've got black, um, I'll just choose black paint. I better add a layer to this so I can draw in it. Um, if I've got a character's arm, poor character, oh, it's such a terrible looking arm. Um, so I can ch use the cutter to separate his segments. So there's one segment there's two segments and that way I can then position these on I can put these on separate layers and then I can uh, animate a paper uh, a cutout uh, I can then of course on each one edit it so that it's it's ready for cutout animation you know you give it a round a rounded edge or whatever um, so that it, the uh, the joins don't show as much but yeah that's what the cutter does and that's where the cutter is it's in the select tool Next is um, the uh, 
sub-select tool or the contour editor. That's uh, in Flash you've got the sub-select tool which allows you to manipulate the vertices that make up your vector art. In this it's the same thing. I'll choose the, the contour editor and I'll click on a brush stroke or, or anything else that's, that I've drawn and I can manipulate the vertices to give it whatever edge I want, whether it's to smooth out lines or if it's to, um, to make lines more consistent for frame-by-frame -frame animation. Um, so yeah, that's lovely. And if you select any one vertice, vertex, <laughs> uh, with, with that, you've got your little handles there. I think holding down Alt, yeah, holding down Alt allows you to break the tangent so you can put in some angles and uh, stuff like that. You bring them back into, okay, holding down Alt allows you to break the tangent. Okay, so the tangent's broken, but if I bring it back into line, it'll automatically hook up and they'll become joined again. So yeah, that's just a nice little thing. And in the next video, we'll talk about the other stuff.